Hello everyone, welcome to Park Maths. In this video, I'm going to solve this nice exponential math problem. So let's start the video. Now to solve this question properly, first of all, we will write solution and then we will rewrite this question in the solution again and we will try to solve it. So the question is x minus power raised to power 4 is equal to x raised to power Power. In the next step, I will shift this x raised to power power to the left hand side. So this equation will become x minus power whole raised to power power minus x raised to power power is equal to 0. Now in the next step, we can write these power of these terms as x minus power. We can write power as 2 raised to power whole 2 minus we can also write x power power as x raised to power 2 whole raised to power 2 is equal to 0. Now my dears here we will use a famous algebraic identity a square minus b square so that is a square minus b square is equal to a minus b times a plus b so by using this algebraic identity in this equation so it will become this is a square so here a is x minus power whole raised to power 2 and b is x square so we will write this right hand side of this equation so it will become this is a square minus b square so we will write a minus b so this is a minus this is b next we will write a plus b so we will close this bracket and we will open another bracket so this is a x minus power whole square plus b b is x square the braces will be closed now in the next step we will further simplify x minus power whole raised to power 2 and also this term so here we will use again algebraic identity here that is a minus b whole square which is equal to a square minus 2 times a b plus b square so we will use that identity in these two terms this one and this one so this equation will become braces open it will become x square minus 2 times a b so minus 2 times a is x and b is power plus b square that is power square and this term will be the same minus x square braces close times braces open no this will become x square minus 2 times a b so 2 times a is x and b is power and plus b square so b is power whole square and this plus x square will be the same the braces will be cool loss is equal to 0 now here we will cancel this minus x square and this plus x square and we will multiply these numbers with each other so it will become this is open it will become 4 times 2 is 8 so it will become minus 8x plus this power square is 16 the braces will be closed times braces will be open again so it will become x square minus 2 times power is 8 so 8x plus 4 square is 16 and plus x square will be the same the brace will be closed is equal to zero now my dears the product of these two polynomials is equal to zero so there are two possibilities this polynomial will be zero or this polynomial will be zero so it will become minus 8x plus 16 will be zero or x square minus 8x plus 16 
प्लस एक्स स्क्वेयर विल बी जीरो सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी विल सिंप्लीफाई दिस इक्वेशन सो हेयर आई विल शिफ्ट दिस इज अगेटिव सो आई विल शिफ्ट इट टू द राइट हैंड साइड सो इट विल बिकम पॉजिटिव सो देर विल बी प्लस सिक्सटीन ऑन द लेफ्ट हैंड साइड इज इक्वल टू इट इज नेगेटिव सो वैन इट विल बी शिफ्ट टू द राइट हैंड साइड सो इट विल बिकम पॉजिटिव सो इट विल बिकम प्लस एट एक्स Now we will divide both sides by a to find the value of x. So this a and this a will be cancelled with each other, and here a times one is a, a times two is sixteen. So x will become two by one is two. So x is equal to two. This is the first possible solution of the above exponential equation. Next we will simplify this quadratic equation. So first of all, we will add these two terms because these are similar or like. So x square plus x square is two times x square minus eight x plus sixteen is equal to zero. Now first of all, we will take two common from these these three terms. So it will become two x square minus it will become four x. Plus and it will become eight is equal to zero. Now we will divide both sides by two to eliminate this two from here. So it will become this two and this two will be cancelled with each other. So this equation will be x square minus four x plus a and zero by two is equal to zero. Now this is a quadratic equation of this form a x square plus b x plus c is equal to zero. Now let's compare these two equations and we will write the values of a b c. So here the coefficient of x square is one, so the value of a is one. The coefficient of x is minus four, so the value of b is minus four, and the value of c is eight. Now here we will use the quadratic formula. And we will find the roots of this quadratic equation. So the quadratic formula is x is equal to minus b plus minus square root of b square minus four ac divided by two a. Now here we will find the values of a, b, c in this quadratic formula. So it will become x is equal to minus b. So b is minus four plus minus square root of b square that is minus four square minus four times a c. The value of a is one and c is eight divided by two a. So the value of a is one. So further simplify this equation. This is equal to minus times minus s plus. Four plus minus square root of minus four square. So minus four square is minus four times minus four is plus sixteen minus and four times one is four. Four times eight is thirty two divided by two times one is two. Now we will do the further steps here. X is equal to four plus minus. It will become square root of minus sixteen divided by two. Now, in the next step, we can write this minus sixteen as x is equal to four plus minus. We can write it as sixteen times minus one divided by two. Now, in the next step, I will split this square root over sixteen and minus one. So this equation will become x is equal to Four plus minus it will become square root of sixteen times square root of minus one divided by two. Now in the next step, I will replace this square root of minus one, which is a complex number iota. So I will replace it with a complex number iota. So this equation will become x is equal to four plus minus square root of sixteen is Four and this will become iota divided by two. Now in the next step, I will take two common from these two terms. So it will become two times 
टू प्लस माइनस टू अयोटा डिवाइडेड बाय टू सो लेट्स कैंसल दिस टू विद दिस टू सो इट विल बिकम एक्स इज इक्वल टू टू प्लस माइनस टू अयोटा सो दीज आर द अनदर टू रूट्स ऑफ द एबो एक्सपोनेशियल इक्वेशन सो फाइनली द थ्री पॉसिबल रूट्स ऑफ द गिबन एक्सपोनेशियल इक्वेशन आर एक्स वन एस टू एन एक्स टू विल बिकम हेयर इज वन पॉजिटिव एंड वन नेगेटिव सो इट विल बिकम एक्स टू इज इक्वल टू टू प्लस टू आयोटा एंड एक्स थ्री विल बिकम टू माइनस टू आयोटा so these are the three possible solutions of this nice exponential math problem and last don't forget to subscribe our youtube channel for such a more interesting math videos thank you so much for watching take care see you in the next video bye bye